Intel at Aruba's expansion into Miami helps to make Aruba the hub to connect the South and the North together. Plus, in today's lifestyle segment, the tremendous health benefits of breastfeeding for mom and baby. And we discuss gospel tourism. 15 on 15 starts right now. Hi, everyone. Thanks for watching. I'm Yento Liu. The expansion of Insel Air Aruba into Miami does not only provide travelers with more options, but it helps Aruba to take another step forward in connecting North and South America together. Insel Air Aruba's inaugural flight to Miami carried tourism authority members, press and other stakeholders. The first flight from Aruba to Miami was deemed a success. The director of the airline for Aruba says that this expansion adds as a gateway for the island to be a hub between the north and the south. Insular has big plans. We want to make Aruba a hub. Not Aruba only a destination, which it's already. We have all the major airlines flying to Aruba. But we want to connect Latin America with North America. We want to expand. We want to um, have partnership with the major airlines. We already have partnership with U.S. Airways, with Gold, with KLM is one of our most uh, important uh, partners. And we will continue doing that because in Aruba, other than in Curacao, we have much more U.S. carriers landing. So we are working on connecting the routes through Insular and our strategic partners. The idea here is to have a local twist on board the flight so passengers of the airplane would know they are flying with an Aruban company. Making the island's presence obvious on board is the goal. We also want to give the Aruban touch. That is what uh, you feel, you felt it also on this flight. Uh, the, the cabin crew, the flight uh, crew, they come with the Aruban touch. So when you enter the Insular aircraft, you already are more or less on Aruban soil. Insel Air Aruba is still working on having pre-clearance for its passengers. As of right now, the approval for the Insel Air Aruba to have pre-clearance will take 60 days. The director of media for the Miami International Airport says Insel Air has consistently been a great asset to the team. This additional access acts as a gateway. You know, Insular has been a strong business partner at our airport for many years, uh, providing local residents and visitors, the many visitors that we have to Miami alike, with wonderful customer service and direct access to many of the jewels of the Caribbean. That is why we're so excited today to welcome Insular Aruba, an expansion of the strong Insular brand to Miami International Airport today. More options for travelers to fly to Miami could represent more business for the airport and city. Therefore, Miami International Airport welcomes Insel Air Aruba with arms wide open. Travelers will be able to enjoy the flexibility and convenience that high frequency service offers. And if you're going to be doing it daily, that's even better. And of course, they'll be able to enjoy all that Aruba and Miami have to offer as well. Moving forward in other local news, the citizens of Aruba were given the right to vote when it comes to the European Parliament since 2009. However, not everyone exercises this right. A debate last week helped to clarify for Aruban citizens what having this right means and why they should get involved with European politics. The debate was held at the University of Aruba. It had a great turnout of an estimated 100 people. The purpose of the discussion was to accurately inform people on their right to vote for the European Parliament. Furthermore, the goal was to encourage people to use their right. The debate focused on how the Aruban community can have a strong impact on the outcome of the election. During the debate, a strong point was mentioned acknowledging how the European Parliament plays a vital role in the international relationships that concerns Aruba. Furthermore, reinforcing why Arubans should exercise their right to vote. The European election will be held on May 22nd. We will have much more when we come back, so stay with us.
When parents choose to breastfeed their newborn, it is a huge commitment. However, the health benefits for both the mom and baby are countless and tremendous. Take a look. Doctors say breastfeeding your child is the ultimate gold standard source of nutrition. For the baby, breastfeeding helps them to grow at the right rate due to the immunity they get from breast milk. They also have a lower rate of infections, ear infections, colds, lower rates of obesity, lower rates of serious diseases including diabetes and even leukemia. As for moms, they return to pre-pregnancy weight faster when breastfeeding. As well, they have a lower rate of developing breast cancer. Experts say breast pumps are also an option. Being able to take a break sometimes and give the baby a bottle is important. In other lifestyle topics, believe it or not, there are three factors that predict whether or not you'll get married. So how do you determine whether or not someone is marriage material? How he looks or how she acts? In a new study, researchers considered how likely someone is to get married by examining three traits physical attractiveness, personality attractiveness, and personal grooming. It turns out your overall score based on these three factors could be linked to if you will walk down the aisle or not. To determine this marriageability factor, the researchers looked at data with more than 9,000 people from the National Longitude Study of Adolescent Health. The higher the collective score, the more likely that person was to get hitched. This tells us people likely eye the whole package when they consider whether or not someone is worthy of a wedding ring. The results also suggested that they may be able to compensate for a deficiency in one desirable trait by enhancing the presence of another. And selfie takers, take note, there is no need to reach out your arm and wonder where to look for that next perfect selfie. A selfie mirror is here to help make everything easier and faster. Check it out. This is the self-enhancing live feed imaging. The selfie mirror is constructed with a two-way mirror, webcam, LED lights embedded behind the mirror. Inside is a Mac Mini powering the facial recognition software. Let's see how it all works. The selfie mirror is only an experiment. No price is listed, but they say interested buyers can contact the company to get yourself one. And once your selfie is taken, it automatically uploads it to Twitter. Don't go anywhere. We have this coming right up. This week, members part of the Christian faith from all over the world are here on the island to spread the word of the Lord in Aruba. Despite your faith, your attendance is encouraged. Members part of this mission are accepting prayer requests and ready to give one-on-one -on -one attention to anyone with any questions. Furthermore, this spiritual week is bringing about gospel tourism. The mission of the prayer sessions is to reach out to all types of people of Aruba, and the members will be spreading across the island to do so. This takes place this week on Main Street in front of Bombini Bazaar. The first three days of this next week, we've got uh, missionary evangelism training, and it also includes street training where we will go out and witness and just show the love of God to prostitutes and drug addicts here in Aruba. Uh, we have a project that we're working on also while here in St. Nicholas. People of different backgrounds and ethnicity are joining forces to bring a new light to some of the people on the island. Um, also on the 19th, we have 100 missionaries from six different continents that are going to be here. So we are asking pastors to bring teams from their church. We would like for you to come join us. It doesn't matter your religion. We're here in unity and we're here to do kingdom work. And we're just excited to be here. We are excited to be in revival and just on fire for God. That's why we're here. The people part of the prayer request are from various countries, but they all have one mission in mind. The people that are coming in are for, um, from Brazil, from Hong Kong, from United States, uh, from Australia people from Suriname, people from Holland. It's like 100 people coming in. And we, we feel very great that they are coming to help us, especially with this marathon. Uh, we will be on the street starting Monday 14, Tuesday 15, and Wednesday 16. We will be on the street with them in front of Bombini Bazaar in the main street where everybody on this island can bring their prayer request. 
The session goes beyond prayer requests. Individual one-on-one -on -one time for anyone who needs it will be provided. Not only bring or fill in their prayer requests, but there will be time to talk with them. So if you want them to pray with you, if you have certain questions you want to ask for your family, for your own life, for different uh, uh, motives you have, you can ask them and then we, they will they help you, guide you. They, um, they have experience in many countries. These are people that are helping people in Haiti and in Kenya. So we have people around us now and with us that sure can be a blessing for Aruba. We can classify the religious group coming here as a source of tourism. These people came in, they, they pay their own ticket. They're staying at the hotel, they're, they're paying their own food, so they're investing in our country. We can call them gospel tourism. They, they come at the right time on the right, pla right place to give us a hand. And that is our show for today. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back here on Tuesday night with a brand new edition of 15 on 15. So be sure to tune in then. And of course, we'll be right here on Channel 15 ATV. So we will see you then.